as I promised you, I was going to show you how you can make a clickable design. And um, if you want to see how this works, you can check my last video about that. I will still show you at the end how it works. So please stick around and um, you will love this. So first of all, I've made the design. That's the most important thing. I made the design and created this space for it. Um, by the way, I made this design in Corel Draw. Then I created this space for it to place these um, buttons here. But I did something else on this. So to create these buttons, I can actually create any button. We are going to get a link and we are going to embed the link into the object. I can actually make anything into a button. So let us um, create something different from this. You are free to create anything you want and you are free to work along this design. So I've created a circle and then I will write on it. It's not a must you write something but I just want to write something on it so that um, people will have a call to action but it's not a must. So I'm going to write something here and I will write click here to visit my Instagram. I'm going to resize it to fit in here and choose any font of my choice. I'm going to use this font. I'll make this um, this color and then that's pretty much it for creating the button. You can actually create or put more effects on it but this is just all you need to start and then I will group this Control G. Then we have a particular tab in Corel Draw that we are going to open it's not open on default here so i will right click and go to internet so this is where the magic happens and then i will either choose a bookmark or a link in this case i'm going to use a link so i will put my instagram link here which is http s um this double slash right www.instagram dot com slash you graphics designs and that is it so http dot dot com slash you graphics designs and then I click on enter and then here I can choose to make it self top black and here it doesn't really matter you have actually activated this button to be a link so whatever else whatever thing you are doing here it doesn't matter so i'll leave it at none and then alt you can put an alternative comment to help describe what you want you can um, set the bounds if you wanted to have some bounds around it when it's hovered over or something like that you can set it but i don't usually like that so i will keep it at default where it is and um, this is the bound view you can keep it this way or that way i'll keep it at default this way so that you don't have to click on this area to activate the link you only have to click inside the circle all right because if i make it this way that means even this area can be clicked to activate the link I don't know why they had that as an option but I don't think I will ever use it so I will hide this again so that it doesn't show and then I will keep this in this design just over here um, I can now close this up and I will save this now the method or uh, the mode at which you are saving it is very important because you cannot save a jpg and make it interactive so you have to look for something that is interactive and the closest that comes to mind is a pdf document so this is a flyer but you have to save it as a pdf document so that when you touch this area it will be able to click so i'm gonna export publish to tip them to pdf and i will write it as um he giveaway instagram 
problem i'm saving this when it is done saving it should automatically open but if it doesn't open i will open it myself and i will take us to the link but i think it is done saving so i'm gonna find it now and take us to the link okay here it is he giveaway instagram open the pdf document you can send this to your phone it works the same way and you can also um so like guys like as you can see when i get my mouse every other place over here it opens the paypal over here it opens the amazon link and over here it opens my instagram so when i click on it it will tell me you are going to open this and i say yes so if this link is correct it will definitely take me to the website i have requested that it will open and of course it is doing so and here we are on my instagram so guys that is it for the video hope you enjoyed this and hope you learned it so on a recap you have to do it on corel if there is any other program that can help you do it that is good by me whichever way just make sure that you achieve the same result and if you're doing it on Corel Draw, you must open this tab internet and from there everything is easy it will be a link you put in the link and you make sure you hide the bounds and that is that goodbye guys and if you enjoyed this video and want more please like the video and subscribe feel free to share it among your friends and feel free to use this trick and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.